On this episode of Secrets of Business Success is one of, if not the most visionary and progressive entrepreneur in the pharmaceutical industry in Ghana. From a trading background that meted him with the knack for risk taking, the incredibly humble and down to earth founder and owner of NS Chemists, Mr. NS Bediako Sampo, has grown his one shop pharmacy in a suburb of Accra to a network of well structured, distinctive wholesale and retail pharmacy outlets dotted around Ghana, all modeled along and comparable to any top class pharmacy brand around the world. And recently, this visionary entrepreneur has added another edifice to his legacy, the imposing Nesta Square, situated at the airport city enclave, which also houses the headquarters of his vast expanding empire. Together with his son and mentee, Mr. Yaobedi Akusampo, who is also the general manager of NS Chemist, the two generations of entrepreneurs graciously agreed to impart the secret to their success to young and upcoming entrepreneurs out there. I, Nanan Dr. Michael Ejikum Ado, encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, EPV Media YouTube channel now, in order to have constant access to this very revealing series from renowned entrepreneurs like me on secrets of business success. Please subscribe now. Thank you very much. I started my first retail shop at Kanishi somewhere in 86, just after I had completed my national service. From the one shop retail at um, Kanishi, we now have over about 30 retail wholesale pharmacies spread across the country. We are also manufacturers and uh, we represent quite a number of the multinational companies. I mean, at the moment, the company employs about 650 workers. A good business is a business that will um, generate returns for the business person and at the same time um, create some satisfaction for the society or the uh, client or customer. I feel one principle that, you know, aligns all entrepreneurs is that gut you know that feeling that look I'm, I'm going to do this i'm going to take a risk you know since you don't know the outcome and you stick you know i mean to that philosophy or that idea sometimes people might start something you know and they get distracted you know and they're all over the place but i think it's that commitment that focus and you know you just start you know on a smaller scale and you keep you keep working it you know i mean in this world, you, you, you are never guaranteed anything, you know, but I feel that God wins at the, at the end of the day. Entrepreneurship is more or less a risk-taking um, activity. Some people want to take risk, others wouldn't. You know, um, I mean, taking myself as an example, you know, opportunities have come my way and I've been bold to grab those opportunities. Um, I know people who have found themselves in the same environment and never bothered to you know, take advantage of that situation. I've ventured into certain activities that have actually cost me to some extent, but I think on a scale of 0 to 100, in about 85, I'll pick 85. So it's been quite okay. I think I should also be thankful to, to the Almighty that it's been so. Sometimes fear to hold us back, you know. So sometimes so people are just content with where they are. I'm just happy maybe working in an office under somebody. So I mean, those people should be left alone. Some people probably might do many prototypes, many concepts, you know, about 100, 200, you know, and maybe it's probably one out of the 200 that will be successful, you know, and it's, it looks like it's a slim chance, you know. So it's, it's, it's that focus and you know that commitment you, you might try the first time you might feel you know second time you might feel maybe you know the tenth time you know god will smile on you and you know hopefully make things work if you feel i mean that is where the, the experience comes in 
so that I mean the next visit or the next yeah. attempt, you know, that also serves as a guide. You know, was in business, you either win or you lose, but it is um, the experience, you know, that I mean pushes you forward as against someone with, without that, that experience. And in business, uh, one should not spend foolishly. You know, if you think you'll be able to handle maybe a ten dollar business, I mean don't go beyond that. You know, that is a ten dollar business is a business that can employ only if it's ten workers, fine. You know, don't try employ more than ten. And at the same time, a ten dollar business is a business if it bring can bring in only Ten dollars worth of products or goods, you know, don't go beyond ten. You know, at the same time, where you think um, yourself, you can double as maybe a driver. Or at the same time, you know, I believe that you shouldn't be shy doing that. Because when I was young and doing business, I was I've been driving my my van, and at the same time. Doing a supply myself. Some people always want to be seen as big, you know, so they will go beyond their confines and then recruit more people. Like we said earlier on, so business does not necessarily mean big numbers or what. Also, make sure that whatever comes in, you know, you're very careful with how you spend. Because these days you find, I mean, the young guys, I mean, with, I mean, they make something that instead of reinvesting it in the or applying back into it you know, they begin to have fun with them i'm not saying that i mean never enjoy yourself or don't spend or whatever so one should be very careful because um the moment you start making money it's also ideas flying either from within or from outside you know and then um if you try moving away from your i mean style of doing business or from the sort of business that you're doing you know, that is when, I mean, you will be caught pants down, especially uh, with a startup. Please subscribe to the channel now so that you won't miss out on any of this and other revealing interviews we have with other entrepreneurs in Ghana. Thank you very much.